first time I heard music, I was a baby because my dad uh, is a guitarist, and I was used to listening to him. And um, they were very musical, both. I mean, they're still alive, and uh, they like music. They love music. So I grew up in a very musical environment, and um, I started playing drums when I was like a kid, 10 years old, and. And then I moved to the guitar at 11 because I didn't have a drum kit. But that's pretty much the story. And you? <laughs> well, the first time I, I hear music was uh, through my mom, I guess, when she was pregnant. And then eventually uh, she got a great collection and loved music, all my family. From my mom's part, they music lovers, so from all sorts of styles of music. So I always, me and my sister, we always loved music, but I was very obsessive and I loved some of those records and were jazz, classic jazz, uh, classic rock, um, tango, flamenco, classical music, and all of that. It was just when I was a teenager that I discovered metal music, Metallica and all of that. And then I, I, I include that style of music in, in my taste of music. We implement uh, heavy metal music into our music because it's um, the music that kind of taught us how to play the guitar. So um, yeah, since we came up with the, new, the first album, um, we kind of were embraced as well for the metal community thanks to Metallica because they, li they listened to the cover we did for um, their song called Orion and then when we started touring the States we got to meet them, they went to see us live and we got to meet them and, and, and then we kind of rolled up you know, within the world of uh, metal bands because they understood we came from that world too, we loved it and I understand some people don't relate our music to it but uh, it is, I mean, once they go to a show, then they understand, you know, maybe listening to the albums, they don't understand, it's more difficult for them, but for musicians and guitar players, they understand that a lot of the times we play uh, riffs, metal riffs, but in acoustic, and that makes a difference, you know, but uh, yeah, we still implement that in the music and in the recordings and live. Well, the turning point of uh, our career was probably, I, I don't know, maybe we have different view on it, but I guess it was not uh, when we were able to play main stages and main festivals around the world, but I think it was way earlier. I think it was when we realized that although we were basking in the streets in, in, in Dublin, once we met a guy who said like, you know, you should do a show. Many people would go and pay for it. And we gave it a go and we played in a very famous venue called Whelan's in Dublin. Small venue, like 400 people, but very famous. Everyone had played there. And it was a Monday night and it was sold out. Once we did that show, I said like, fuck, I mean, we can do shows, so let's stop playing the streets. And probably that was the main turning point of the career. Probably one of the weirdest shows we've done is uh, when we play for uh, President Barack Obama at the White House, because we didn't really know we were in the middle of uh, mayhem. We were. Um, promoting the 11.11 album in 2009. Um, they just uh, wanted to know if we were uh, available to play at the White House. And we said like, yeah, but you know, the American people, I mean, we were so um, in the middle of everything that uh, we didn't realize how important or unique situation was that. Uh, but we saw everyone around us, especially in the States, like super excited about it. And it was very interesting because we had a, we, we were kind of playing not only for the president, but 200 governors and the Mexican president as well. But nobody knew. It was like a very private thing, you know. And they built this beautiful, beautiful stage outside the White House. Um, and, um, and we got to meet the president inside the White House. He, he had our music on the iPod. He's a fan and it was great to, to play for him. They had dinner first and then they came down to the stage. And they sat and they watched the show. So we played half an hour, and then Beyonce played the other half an hour. So it was like, a, I don't know, the Mexican side and, the, and Beyonce representing the American side. It was great. It was a very interesting experience and very out of the ordinary.
we have a new two brand new pieces so I hope people liked it and they mean a lot to us it's because it's a new for us it's like a new cycle uh, we, we are coming to a different new places in this tour new cities and also we have this new music that we just come up with so we're very excited about that and also we're gonna play from the first album and the nine dead alive and 11 11 album and i hope people enjoy it we're really looking forward for the gig